Hi, everybody. We're back inside the Credit Union Center in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. On your screen is the final flight for the men's free. A Canadian men's champion will be crowned at the very end of this flight. So, you're in for a real treat because this final flight of men is going to be covered by Kurt Browning, Tracy Wilson, Scott Russell, and Brenda Irving from the main wet network. Stay tuned for some absolutely outstanding skating. Remember, the score to beat right now, Jan Martinez, 186.59. Enjoy the rest of the competition. While we have a couple of more seconds, there is our leader, Patrick Chan. He's definitely the one to watch. His short program score, absolutely out of this world. He has a 17-point lead over next closest competitor, Vaughn Chapur. But I'm sure Curtin Tracy will be able to tell you all about it. Blade Runners take the ice in Saskatoon inside Credit Union Centre warming up for the men's free program, the BMO Canadian Figure Skating Championships on CBC. Three spots for Canadian men available at the March World Championships in Los Angeles. Inside track status for an Olympic berth and at the centre of the storm, Patrick Chan, the supremely talented 18-year-old national champion. He has delivered a wonderful short program to lead by a tonne. And there we are, there's our spot at Credit Union Center here in Saskatoon. And a wonderful spot it is to see all the action. Scott Russell back with Tracy Wilson and Kurt Browning. And everybody's been anticipating this, the men's free skate at the National Championships. There is depth in Canadian men's skating, there is youth, there is hunger, and there's lots on the line. Well, there is a lot of hunger because of what is on the line. There's five spots on the uh, national team three spots on the world team and of course the Canadian title on the line. Uh, coming into this competition, nine guys had a realistic shot at the podium at the top three spots. The final six are on the ice now and a host of guys have already competed in the free skate. I should tell you the leader at this point is young Jan Martinez. He skated his free skate, he landed eight triple jumps and he can get to the podium with that performance. Here he is, he added another 30 points to his season's best score. So we've already had some good skating here. Also, I need to tell you of this final flight, four, five, and six are within three points of the podium. So it is wide open, anything can happen, nothing is for sure. Except, of course, yeah, yeah, well, except one thing. has uh, quite a margin. Oh, you must be talking about uh, Patrick Chan. Yeah, that would be the one. <laughs> this kid's short program lit up the place. He was, As Toller Cranston would say, he was beyond the beyond. And there was really, <laughs> for me personally, only one thing that took away from that experience. Uh, it was the insane jealousy that was building inside <laughs> me when I watched him. He was us. We obviously have to raise the bar of expectation yeah. for him. He's awesome. One quick thought. This is a pressure-filled situation for all of the skaters. What kind of skater in the long program comes to the fore? Uh, okay, it's the kind of skater who wants to go after it. It's not the skater who holds back and plays safe and tries not to lose. It's the one that goes on the offense. You know, it's the kind of skater who says things in the press conference like, I'm not here to defend my title, I'm here to attack it. That was Patrick Chan. That's the kind of skater that can live and survive in this pressure. Going to be a great competition. You know, Vaughn Chipier of Calgary has been around for a while, but he's never been to a world championship. Yeah. He's second after the short pro Program. Maybe this is Vaughn Chipier's chance. With more on him, here's Brenda Irving. Scott Vaughn's coach is Scott Davis, and Scott, it was kind of an up and down Grand Prix season for Vaughn. So at the end of the season, you decided to make some changes. What effect do you think those changes have had on his skating? I think the, the changes have been great so far. He had to make some drastic changes with everything from his eating habits to his training. Uh, so it's been a pretty intense six weeks for him, but uh, everything's going great so far. 
Well, the goal is to make the world team. What does he have to do tonight to make that dream become a reality? Yeah, for Vaughn, he just needs to go out there and do what he can do. He's been skating great at home. He just needs to go out there, lay it down, and uh, hope for the best. Thanks for this. We'll let you get back to the warm-up. Thank you. Scott Davis, a two-time men's U.S. champion. Thank you very much, Brenda. And there is 24-year-old Vaughn Chipier with his coach, uh, Scott Davis. Vaughn was fourth at last year's national championships. And he competed this year over in Asia at the Cup of China, where he was fifth. And at the Cup of Russia, he was 12th. Everyone knows that Vaughn Chipier can jump. Can he put together a good long program? Here's 18-year-old Kevin Reynolds out of Coquitlam, British Columbia. And one thing we know about Kevin Reynolds, he can get up there. Order of skate in the final flight. Sean Sawyer of Edmonston, New Brunswick will be the leadoff hitter. And Sean Sawyer has been on the national podium twice before as a bronze medalist. The final say belongs to Patrick Chan, the 18-year-old Canadian national champion. Tracy Kurt, what an outstanding story he is developing into. You know, everybody was waiting just to see how the pressure of defending his title would affect him in the short program, and it affected him just fine. We were all speechless watching the quality of his triple axle that he's really been having to fine tune and, and work on because he lost his triple axle at the Grand Prix final. Seems he has it back. He had it back in the short, so we'll see he has it planned twice in the free skate. Kevin Reynolds just walked by. There's Joey Russell representing Newfoundland and Labrador. He is an extremely smooth skater, and he delivered all of that in the short program. Jeremy Ten of Vancouver, B.C. There's Patrick Chan, the 18-year-old, and his coach, Don Laws. Together they work down in Orlando, Florida, and they have spent quite some time trying to master the triple axel. They did that in the short program.